please welcome Academy Board Member from our Writers Branch, Academy Award nominee, and the Chair of the Nickel Fellowship Committee, Robin Swicord. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you don't get to be the chair of the Nickel Committee without being a governor. So I am clinging to my position on the board just so that I can be head of this committee. I love the work that we do, and I love the people who come to be part of the committee. Um, this year we had over 7,000 applications for this fellowship. So you might ask, how do you arrive at choosing five finalists out of that? You just download 7,000 scripts to your Kindle. <laughs> no, I, actually I put them on my phone because then when I'm in traffic I can just kind of scroll through that. You know. Now, the, uh, the organizational heavy lifting gets done by two Academy staff members, Greg Beal and Jen Y, and they really do need another round of applause. <clears throat> they wrangle a small army of professional readers who evaluate the tsunami of scripts that come in. The readers have to follow specific guidelines for evaluation that are supplied by our committee. We came up with them, we refined them, and we put them into practice. Um, and so far, it feels like it's working. These professional readers are the ones who winnow through the big pile of material into, makes into a, a smaller pile, and at that point, 300, 400 quarterfinalist scripts get read again, and, and they've been read multiple times before this moment. I won't bore you with that. But we end up giving that 300 to 400 over to the Academy members themselves, who then read the scripts get read again multiple times. And we ask them to follow the same guidelines that we've given the readers. And I'll give you a sense of what they are. We tell them to look for real storytellers. Stories that have an original premise that make the reader feel as though we're being taken on a, taken on a journey. We say find the stories that make the reader connect emotionally to the protagonist. Bring us writers who know how to tell a story with a strong beginning, middle and end, and if not, then at least two out of the three. Are the characters vivid? Does the dialogue seem to fly directly off the page in real, real human speech and dialogue that sounds like real, real dialogue, except a, a little bit better? Does the, does the writer have consistent control over the tone of the script? We ask the readers to look for writers who have distinctive voices, who bring something fresh to the page. We ask, does reading the script make you think this person genuinely has the potential to develop into a real writer? We're not looking for the finished product. We're looking for that person who's going to have a future because their beginning is so good. And we also ask, is the script about something powerful? Because the best movies, the movies that endure, always seem to carry important universal themes. And it's not only dramas, but comedies too, as we saw this summer um, with the comedy The Big Sick. Movies that are about something, you know, stay with us. And one of the most important things we ask our readers to look for is something that we call on this committee magic that indescribable something that elevates the script into something far above the ordinary, something that makes the script unforgettable. So you'll notice that nowhere in our guidelines do we say, bring us a movie that we would like to green light tomorrow. Nowhere do we say, bring us perfect screenplays. That's because we're not looking for projects. We're looking for writers who have voice, who are original thinkers, who have some mastery of the craft as filmmakers, but per perhaps not quite yet all and who have something valuable to say in their own unique way. <clears throat> By the time this committee convenes upstairs on the seventh floor, we are looking at anywhere from 12 to 10 finalists. And in the years since we adopted these guidelines, things have just gotten better and better. But that also means that these meetings have become impossible. Because all we do is have these impassioned, ranting arguments with each other which go on for hours. We really only cater one meal, so it limits how long we can stay in there. 
We change our votes, we convince each other of something and then change our minds again. We argue back and forth about scripts number five and six a lot. But usually we do finally all come to a common agreement on the top five, but always, always with really strong regret that we only have the capacity to grant five fellowships because the honest truth is we could grant 10. Every script is so deserving. Um, this year, um, I'll tell you where we landed. We really landed on scripts that we felt spoke to the time that we we're living in. That the writers who had given us these scripts really had something on their minds. Subjects and themes that reached us deeply. Kristen Rockmaker looks at morality and whether wrongdoing makes a person evil when that wrong is done in the service of something good. Sarah Jane Inwards posed a future world when aliens arriving into small town American life are treated with a range of tolerance and intolerance as the Bosnians and Somalian refugees that Sarah knew as a child in Minnesota were treated. Cesar Vitale explored the impact of oncoming mortality on a man who has never yet been his best self. Is, it, is there still time to change? And Max Lance and Jen Bailey collaborated on a story about a woman striving for her success and survival in a profession that has handicapped her because she is female and who finds herself making costly compromises of the soul that diminish her and the rest of us as she struggles to make her mark. Vigil Chime brings us a story from Nigeria that feels like it is pulled from the headlines of today's paper about schoolgirls kidnapped by militants who resourcefully managed to escape even as the father of one of the girls comes looking for his daughter. These are stories from our time and for our time by five writers who I believe will shape the films that we will watch in the future for decades to come. So tonight, the Academy and the Nickel Committee honors these five writers and encourages their future work by awarding each of them a Nickel Fellowship for 2017. <laughs>